as it turns out, infrared radiation causes vibrations to occur in um, certain molecules, not all molecules. Okay, and so what we have to do now is we have to model the chemical or the molecule in yet a different way now. We're going to look at molecules in yet a different way. This time we're modeling the bonds in a very unique, unique way. This particular picture, these, all these pictures, are modeling carbon dioxide. So this would be the carbon and these would be the oxygens. And rather than modeling the bonds as a pair of electrons, or in this case two pairs of electrons, or as little dashes, in this case we're modeling the bonds as springs. Because as it turns out, atoms uh, that are uh, in a, participating in a chemical bond are not static. They're not fixed in, in space, but rather they can they vibrate back and forth and back and forth at a certain rate. Okay, so in all chemical bonds can be modeled also as springs. It's the next higher level of understanding of of molecules. So we think of bonds as little springs okay vibrating oscillating back and forth and there's different types of oscillations that can occur now try to imagine I don't know if you guys have ever held on to a slinky but it's a, a pretty um, a, a, a very stretchy a spring and if you're holding a, a slinky there's two different things that you can do with it you can stretch the spring and compress the spring back and forth and that would be this kind of stretching motion or you can take the slinky in your hand and um, move it up and down and that would be what we call bending motion okay so you can do a stretching type of a string a spring action or you can do a bending type of a spring action and as it turns out atoms that are involved in covalent bonds um, in molecules can undergo stretches um, and depending on the number of atoms in a molecule they may also be able to undergo a bend as it turns out um, molecules that have just two atoms are only capable of undergoing stretching. Molecules that have more than two atoms are uh, capable of undergoing various stretching and bending. The stretching motion changes the bond length, okay? The bond length is going to get further away and closer together and further away and closer together. The, um, the uh, bending action is going to change bond angles slightly. So although we model this as a linear molecule with a 180 degree bond angle, that bond angle changes slightly with the stretching, um, excuse me, bending action. So this is a bend type of a vibration. This is a bend type of vibration that's going to um, change the bond angle from 180 to slightly less than 180. It doesn't bend all the way around, just slight bends. And then the stretching, this is a stretch that's going to lengthen the bond angle and this is what we call um, an asymmetric stretch, this side of the molecule stretching and making it longer, and this side of the molecule stretching and making this, this bond shorter. Okay, so this one's going to be shorter with the stretch, this is going to be longer with the stretch. Okay, so this um, gives us a more complicated but more realistic picture of molecules once again. We keep um, advancing our concept of, of molecules and the models that we use and the models that we need to employ to understand different physical and chemical phenomenon. So now we're recognizing that covalent bonds actually can be modeled as springs and that the bonds have, can undergo stretching and bending um, motion and those types of bends and stretches are called vibrational motion. Okay. As it turns out, well I'll get to that later, we'll just leave that now. There's different types of motions that molecules can undergo. Well I'll tell you, yeah. Um, for example, one is translational, and that's 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 moving in space from one point to the other. And we think of um, like gases and liquids being able to move um, all around, um, translating from one place to another. So we call that translational motion. This is another type of motion called vibrational motion, in which the atoms are vibrating, um, stretching and bending relative to one another. 